players took part in those games of 64 years ago, and as far as we know, only one of them survives. He's Sir George Stuart Robertson, who represented this country in the discus, putting the weight, and lawn tennis. Well, now, in that, um, those days, Sir George, there was no official British entry, was there at all? Did no, this mean that no, anybody no. could take part as long as he had the fair to Athens? Everybody went out to, on their own, and uh, nobody asked us to go. But did individuals have to qualify in any way at all? No, not at all. Well, how many British competitors were there in, in the 1896? About six, game? I should say. Mm -hmm. Now, you represented this country at putting the weight the, the, and the discus yes. and lawn tennis, I believe. Now, which I of those were you best at? I, I wasn't very good at any of them. My hammer was my speciality, and I wasn't any hammer. Mm. So, in fact, you, 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 used the disc, you threw a discus instead, did you? I threw a discus and put the weight uh, as being the only things that there were to throw. <laughs> how, in fact, did you make out in it? Did you do well? No, or? not at all well. How well organized were they? They weren't organized in at any all. Way. You see, the Greeks had had no experience whatever of running an athletic meeting, and uh, the, the, the thing was happy-go-lucky from start to finish. That's what made it so entertaining. It was the most amusing meeting. A final question, Sir George. Do you wish you were in Rome now? No, I do not. I, I, I once threw a hammer in America at 104 in the shade, and I, I'm sorry to go to Rome to in 106. Thank you very much.